Hello and welcome to Atelier Sandrine Moji. Today I am going to show you how to draw a pair with three really easy principles. And from these three principles you will be able to draw any pair of any shape of any variety and get it right every single time. The first component of your drawing is going to be the axis. If you look at a pair, if you look at the base of the stalk here and the remnant of the sepals at the bottom, there is a line that goes from that point to that one and it goes right through the pair and that is the axis. So if you have your anchor point here at the base of the stalk and you go down the middle of the pair and then you've got the remnants of the sepals here, this is your axis and this is the first thing to draw when you're drawing your pair. On most pairs the axis is straight, if you look at this pair which is the same variety here which is a Packham, you can see it better here with the base of the stalk here and where the sepals would be here with the remnants of the little flower of the blossom. You've got that line going straight across and it's straight like I've done on the drawing here. But on some varieties, like for example on conference pairs, the axis with the stalk going from here, looks like a little trumpet, the axis actually is curved and ends up here where the sepals would be here. So the axis is not necessarily a straight down vertical line. The second component is the overall shape of the pair. So some pairs like this little Packham here are pretty much a square. So if you do two horizontal lines where the bottom of the pair here, where the sepals are here, and at the base of the stem. The axis goes down through the center of that square. So about here, you're gonna have your sides and your pair is gonna fit in that square. And it's really important because one of the things that can go wrong when you draw a pair is being out of proportion with one side being bulging more than the other. And so if you have your axis going down vertically down the center and you've got your side lines here, then you can't go completely out of line with your drawing. You have to be contained inside that square. Now sometimes, for example, with this conference pair here, we don't have a square, we have a rectangle. So here I've got my rectangle to contain my pair in. And I've got another pair here, which is actually a rectangle in the other way. It's wider than it's high. So if you do your rectangle around with the axis going through, either through the center or curved, then you have a shape to contain your drawing in. And that's very useful if you normally you wouldn't know how far to go with your edges. Before we get to the third principle, which is probably the most important one, I should tell you that this tutorial was taken from a live online streamed class that I did. So if you would like to check out my online classes, you can go to my website. So if you like my tutorials and you like my videos, and also PDF tutorials, you should check out my Patreon. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you get a lot more on there and a really nice little community as well. Now let's get to the third principle. It is the proportion. So when you have a pair, you can look at it, let's take this one, as two spheres. You have a sphere which is the head and you have a sphere which is the body and in between you have the neck. So on this one, the top sphere is quite small and the bottom sphere is really quite big and it's not completely a sphere, it's a little bit flattened but it will be treated like a sphere when you come to do the tone on it with a highlight where it bulges and the shadow is on the other side and then in between you have the neck so if I strengthen that line around the sphere, 
flattening the bottom a little and then I erase all the lines that I don't want, the construction lines from it. I have a really nice Packham pear shape. Now on the conference, the top sphere is tiny. The bottom one is much plumper. but quite far down, and the neck is very long. So you have the same components, but when you erase all the construction lines, you end up with a completely different pear shape. So you have your three principles of axis, overall shape and proportions, but with these three very simple principles, you end up with two completely different pair varieties. And you can get it right every time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it and to subscribe if you want some more. Also, don't hesitate to leave some comments if you have questions. I always look at them and I always answer them if I know the answer. Happy drawing and I will see you soon in Atelier Sandrine Mogi. Bye!